Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Tale of Immortal. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You get my videos as they come out. And what more would you want out of your day? Now, no, I don't need to do that Immortal Arena, but I'm going to anyway, just because I can. Ha! <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so I have, well, now that the whole comprehension thing was fixed literally yesterday, I was actually able to put on all my skills, which was very nice. I have evolved once more, over 10,000 attack, 7,500 defense. It's very nice. You know, it's, it's very nice. Almost 300k health. Didn't quite get there, though, which is sad. I've got no idea how some of the people in the game have, like, 600,000 health. It just must be, like, the perfect storm of attributes. Because I noticed, that, like, now I enjoy set effects. I do. But the issue is it takes too damn long to get the one you want. Like, specific, like, you can't even really hunt it. It's pure luck. You know, it's pure luck. This this thing refreshes every three months, and to get what you want is, again, is pure luck. I've hunted for them. It's, like, impossible. Yeah, the boss drops some, and usually, you know, one will be a set thing. But other than that, actually getting the ones you want is damn near impossible, which is why I just gave up on that. I was like, yeah, look, fuck it. I don't need the set effects. I just need the skill, you know? So I basically went for, with most of them, to do with healing. Because, I mean, I'm going to be honest, healing in battle seems to be like the most effective thing that I've actually found worth it. You know, five stacks and I'll heal 1300 damage, you know, heal on hit on top of that. Now, the sets make absolutely no sense, I'm aware. But as far as these transcendent skills go, they're not bad. You know, I mean, the attack one could be better. I'll be honest with you, the attack one could be a lot better. I wish that uh, for every 368 max vitality, you attack increases by one. I wish that was red, but if I refresh that, you know, that I won't be able to afford pushing them back because there's too many reds right now. You know, there's too many damn reds. It's unfortunate. I think my defense one, yeah, when my vitality is below 30%, my damage taken is decreased by 14%. Now, because I heal so much, this is an amazing thing for me. Lower health I am, the, you know, less damage I take, which is kind of ideal. I also finally managed to upgrade my <laughs> my martial and spiritual. They're, they're all transcendent now. Very nice, very juicy, very strong. I also got a transcendent movement skill, but it's earth. So, look. It's not the best thing in the world, but it is vastly better than my nascent soul one. Plus, after returning to the surface, my damage taken is negative nearly 50% for 5 seconds. That alone is, is worth having that on, I'll be honest with you. I avoid attacks and I take less damage when I come out. Seems useful to me. I don't know. I haven't got into like a proper fight yet. We're going to do that now. But they added more adventures. I'm talking very fast. There's a lot to cover. Okay, there's a lot to cover. They added more adventures and I'm pretty sure I unlocked one. There's some about a stone steli and I'm going to go do that. Where is it? Where am I? And I'll tell you what, the hardest part of actually getting all these stats up to the max level wasn't even the comprehending part of it. It was the tens of thousands of T1 things that I had to farm to actually level them up so much murder so much is it there's a there's a thing wait monsters killed 109,995 look that's a lot okay that's a lot of monsters killed and i've only killed four people that is absolutely stunning for a cultivator let me tell you what's this demon let's fight it <laughs> i can't talk to you but i can attack you Target decides to fight. That's brave. Foolish grub die. Rude. Why are you looking so fine when you're a demon? Wait till you fucking turn into that thing after I kill your human form. I have killed a lot of these dudes too. This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's not a fight. I'm just going to sit here and drink my coffee. That was smart though, going behind me. No, you shouldn't have gone in front of me. That was dumb. There it is. Deals 23 times more damage to me in that form. And this nether demon cast it. You bastard. That's a really easy way to get battle contributions, by the way. Highly recommend it. It's so much faster than like anything else. <laughs> Another one. Silly demon. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Although you hurt yourself by like agreeing to fight me. Ow. Ah. Alright, come on. Demon form, let's go. 796k health. You're gonna need more. I'll be honest. 
You're gonna need more. Fool. It's just one after the other here, isn't it? Get out of my territory. How about that? Silly demons. Honestly. That was smart. Smartest one yet. Over a million health. That's what I'm talking about. That'll keep you fighting for at least... I don't know, like an extra couple of seconds, maybe. Bye-bye. This machine gun sword array is the best thing since sliced bread. Okay, stone steely, let's do it. I actually don't know if this is like new or not. Because I just I just never had this come up before. Am I gonna comprehend it? Of course I'm gonna comprehend it. You seem to have acquired more understanding of sword. Is that it? Sword plus twenty? Bruh. Bruh, what do you mean? My sword is maxed. This fucking steli is gonna comprehend me. Well that was that was lame. Maybe something comes up after a few years of doing that consecutively. Oh, that was a waste of my fucking effort, wasn't it? And before I actually get stuck into this story here, I actually haven't checked on me kids for a while. <laughs> oh, one died. Oh, I've no idea which one, but one died. That is upsetting. Sort of. I mean, they all refused to become my uh, sworn children, so I mean, it's on them, really. When, when you think about it. But I have been cultivating for years learning these skills. It looks like all of them got to foundation except a couple. I, I, I would like to think that I have an eye for talent, you know. Six of them got to foundation before 30. More, I think she, she was in foundation before 30. 39, maybe not. 25, 25, see that's solid, that's solid. 25. Could be, could be some geniuses, you know, if they can survive. It's a rough world out there. <laughs> anyway, delivering good news. Disciples were rescued. Let's go. Master, the disciples will return. Thanks to you, otherwise the alliance will be greatly weakened. Master, a woman in green came from outside the walls and asked me to give this to you. It should be the mulberry branch, if my eyes are not deceived. Ah, so the chick that tried to kill me. Okie doke. Divine Mulberry Garden sent us to you for a chat. Yep. Yes, he did. Off we go. While murdering every single demon on the way. Because I need those battle contributions. Hang on a minute. Why would I walk when I can just teleport? It makes it a lot easier. Anyway, I need all of those battle contributions because I need to buy XP from the Cultivator Alliance. Which is what I'm going to do after this particular mission. Although I am also going to see if I can't fight. The monster that absolutely ripped me in half by my cheeks last time. So. My friend, maybe you come here for the heavenly art too. What? What, what heavenly art? Here's the shrine of the sword sage. Whether my peers and sword cultivators or not, they all want to attain the heavenly arts with the mysterious immortal. Do you come here? Yeah, Ben, yeah. Explain it to me, please. All of this information is easily known once inquired about. Things won't go worse if I tell them to you. It said that there are several incomplete collections of legends regarding this immortal shrine. The method for comprehending the steli of sword is recorded in these books, and the secret technique for opening the shrine is hidden in the steli. Okay. Okay. Let's go there first, real quick. Slight, uh, slight change. The shrine is... okay. Okay. That was not fucking helpful, was it? I guess I have to keep going to the sword shrine and then eventually unlock it, maybe? I don't know. Where are the monsters now? Are they hiding from me? Yo, that's annoying as hell. There you are. Honestly. Let's fight. <laughs> Please don't let me die. Please. I hit 20 on it last time, so I'm hoping to hit more. Let's go, big boy. Oh, yeah, he's strong. He hits 10,000 on me. But I heal incredibly fast. And that is the point, I'll be honest. This guy. 
What are you doing? And now... Oh, I almost got my heavenly art. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. <laughs> Dow of get fucked. That is so loud. Wow. Anyway, you can die now. I'm done with you. I'm not even going to put on my rule field for you. That's, that's how much disrespect I have for you. Heels, heels, heels. If that's all you got, this is a very short battle, my friend. Anyway, we got sidetracked. Back to it. In front of you is a small grove with green trees and grass, tranquil and calm. Behind is standing under a tree looking at the giant tree of tree vault in the distance. Gomang's condition is stable now. First of all, I want to apologize for my plucking against you the other day. And then I want to tell you our story at Chiyo. Gomang is the deity of wood and was also once the master of the divine mulberry. He foresaw the destiny and knew something serious was going to befall Chiyo, so he withdrew his wood chi that supported the divine mulberry and went to Chiyo to plant it in the tree vault. Every time Xing Chan waved his axe, nether air would surge. Gomang spared no pains to build the giant tree vault to resist the nether air over several years, but could only mitigate its spreading. When he left, he entrusted the divine mulberry to my care, and then something happened between you and me. During this period, he continued to infuse wood chi to strengthen the tree vault, but he was gradually eroded by nether air himself. Sensing the crisis of him, I rushed here to help him, but there was no way to reverse the situation, and even I myself got stuck. You and I both know that only by killing him, killing Xing Tian, can this crisis be resolved. Although I'm weak now, I can still help you, even, at a great, even if at a great cost, as long as Goldman could s suffer the erosion of nether air no more. He is a Mu Zhang, and I am his aid spirit. The rest is irrelevant. Oh, just confess to him, and have babies, you know, just get it over with. Please think over what I've told you. Come back here after you made up your mind. Please don't. Yeah, man, I'm fucking here. Let's go. Everyone wants to talk. There's not enough doing. I could perceive everything, no matter how trivial, that should happen within the tree vault. She's so naive to think she can pull the wool over my eyes. Xiang Lingjun once invited me to attack Xing Chan with him, but he escaped from the battlefield, resulting in serious injuries to me. I was very disappointed, and since then it was left to me alone to fight Xing Tian. Now I trust no one else but you. As I'm getting weak by the day, I must defeat Xing Tian, or there will never be another chance. A tree that has lived out its span will wither, and this focus will dissipate completely after I use up my wood chi. However, if we can defeat Xing Tian, we could save the world and be Hong's life as well. It's worth it. And I can tell you are different from Xiang Lingjun. You will not shun the battle with Xing Tian. So I hope you'll take your time to think it through. I'll be waiting for your reply. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. You are here. Time is limited. And when you fight with full ability, I will examine the nodes inside you in the direction your energy is flowing to. Then I will find a chance to thrust the wood essence into you. Wait. Okay. No, I take it back. I'm not ready. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. I would like to get to, uh, you know... Late transcendent, so I'll see if I can do that. I'll be back. I know for a fact this will push me into mid. I got 11 of them. For sure. You must break through. Yeah, okay, how do I do that? Do I need a thing for it? Break through. You close your eyes and try to break through the bottleneck, but your attempts always fail. Oh god, if there's no chance, it will be difficult to make even an inch of progress in this life. Just at the same time, you hear tremendous sounds from somewhere far away. The sky is tinted red and blue. A bird and a young woman are fighting against each other. One unfurling an ocean of fire, the other enveloping herself with a wall of solid ice. You what? Fuck yeah, I'm going there. Partner attacked partner. For God's sakes. There's enough of me to go around. Oh my God. Just chill. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, you're tough, even Emperor. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, you're going to be worth a lot of points. 
I question who's the demon here. I got a feeling this is actually going to be quite close. Let's go. No, it's not going to be close. I mean, she hits more than I've seen any other demon hit for me, but I heal way more than that. Sadly for her. Bye bye. Uh. Two million. Surely two million demon. 1.8. Yeah. How much damage are you going to do? I didn't see it. Do it again. Do it again, please. Excuse me. Please hit me. Excuse me. Oh, I fight. I hit myself. What is that? A few thousand? Okay, yeah, no, that hurts. <laughs> that actually, that actually kind of hurts. I'm going to avoid them. Woo Whoa, shit. Okay. We're good. We're good. As soon as those swords come out, my healing just like triples. It's fucking brilliant. 1.8 million. <laughs> what demon? Demon Emperor? <laughs> you can die now. I'm over you. Goodbye. Hiding in the corner is not going to help. Why are all of them so good at escaping? That's my question. Oh, that's good contribution, though. Fight between ice and fire. Let's go. Uh, it's been getting sunny, of course it is. Oh my, the son of legends is so capable. Be good and stand still. I'll turn you into an ice sculpture. Enough with the nonsense. My yang recharge fire is lacking, but it's enough to turn you into vapor. Your manner of speaking is loftiness, but I heard that a certain three-legged crow was nearly shot dead by mortals. <laughs> Ooh, awkward. I also heard that a certain water spirit is greedy and tricked her younger sister out of her rations all the time. What's worse is that she also persuaded her younger sister that it was not her, causing much sadness for their poor father's heart. <laughs> oh dear. Hell hath no fury. Can't these two pick a better place to fight? Whatever, I'll just watch the show. If two of them suffer heavy injuries, I can just jump in and kill them both. <laughs> Alright, well. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly my fate. You see Sunny and Bing Yi gazing at each other hostilely. Another woman is peeping at the scene behind a nearby tree and you recognise Zhou Ying by her half-hidden face. Hello! Uh... No? Was that... Uh... Oh dear. What have I done? <laughs> they turn face towards you, observing you with narrowed, slender eyes. Perhaps they are both scheming for something. Damn it, it's this guy. If I'm discovered, I won't be able to go on a killing spree today. I vow to fight this woman today. You don't have to waste any words on convincing me otherwise. Yes, we have to fight it out. It won't work well even if father came here. Better, better settle disputes peacefully. Come on now. Oh my. <laughs> you feel the terrifying air of hatred between the two and find yourself but a newcomer in front of them. Or you could attack me and help me break through this bottleneck. Hey, three-legged chicken, how about we take out the passerby that's in the way first? Sure, it's a deal I stick hack. <laughs> oh, hey, these are savages. Wait a minute. Why am I involved? What did I do? You all... Alright, fine. Head on. Let's go. Idiots. Now you really can't fight each other, can you? Get down. Get down here. Turn off my auto attack. How dare you. Alright, yeah, good fight. After a harsh battle, Sunny's flame gradually extinguishes and Bing Yi's ice shield melts away. Noticing their roads are about to fade, they lower their heads helpless. I'm sorry, what? Hmm, it's not a good time now to kill these two. Should I make a move? Ooh. Primordial Air Demon. Breakthrough. Okay, good. Meanwhile, the energies of ice and fire dissolved in thick nether air condense into a beam of bead of primordial air in your palm. It's not safe here, I should leave soon. Yeah, that's smart. That's smart, lady. Did I just kill them? I'm not... No, I didn't mean to. I thought we were just playing. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> On we go. Let's see how much extra stats we get from this. It's gonna be good. 
Attack plus 400, defense 300-ish. Max vitality 10k-ish. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Less than I thought, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, I can add things. Oh, okay, I get you. I get you. And so now... Okay. I'll be back. I'm just gonna... How you say... Get to late. Okay. Well, that was... That took a long time. I'm gonna be honest. That took way longer than I thought it would. But we got there. So now all i need to do is i'm pretty sure i've maxed all them i have yep standard i literally need one more pill from all of that and then it's maxed at the end of middle and that should xp lead okay breakthrough and then i'm hoping that i get another story thing primordial air yep okay how do i fuck it must be from the story itself. It has to be. Now, I have a decision to make here. So, I can either go with Bihong or go Mang. And that's, that's, it's, it's, it's tough. I'm going to be honest. So, either way, someone's dying here. You know, I'm going to go with the older one. Just simply because he's on his last legs anyway. Let's just, let's just be real. He dying. Time is limited. Yep, I'm ready. I will also take my full ability into the battle, thus it will be tough, please be careful. I am not worried. I say that, but I kind of am, low-key. 624k, you reckon? The demons I was just killing had like 1 million plus, so... Yeah, no. That was, uh, one hit. I don't like to, uh... I'm not really sure how I got one hit. But it happened. Joe, I need you to save my life. Oh my god, run! <laughs> Woo. Woo I don't know how I'm dying. I really don't. But it's fine. I'm healing. That's all that matters. Please stay away from me. I'm pretty sure maybe it's that breath looking thing. So I'm just going to stand over here and let my swords do the work. Because holy fuck. I don't like- Oh my god! Instant kill mechanic. That looks like an instant kill mechanic, you know. Jesus, I'm glad I still have range. Oh my god. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, nice. I got another reborn book. I'll take that. Suddenly, after a long and harsh battle, go man costs seriously. I condensed a breath of wood spirit into the wood essence and infused it into your body. Now the hinterland of Chiyo is open to the transcendent realm. I'll rest for a while, then let us begin our journey to slay Xing Tian. Gu Meng, please don't go there. Behold. Now you can't constrain anyone, even me. How could you fight against Xing Tian? It's none of your business, Bi Hong. Please go back. Bi Hong gestures with a hand and vines emerge from the soil beneath Gu Meng. Seeing himself bound by them, he shakes his torso slightly and the verdant tendrils wither into ashes. Gnashing her teeth, she gestures again and this time a glowing green vine catches Gu Meng. Seeing the vine, he's astonished. It's condensed from your wood spirit. Why should you do this? I will not see you die so futile. So they're both just going to die regardless of what I chose. Is that what you're telling me? Isn't it futile too if you die here? Bihong condenses the green vine with her wood spirit to bind him, but he's not willing to escape from his grasp by destroying the spirit. The two are trapped in a stamina. Look, I'm just going to go ahead. You two can have your lovers spat, you know? Your ability is restricted by the power of law after you came here, and besides, your physique is much weaker than before for fighting the nether air for a long time. Because of this, you're always seeking help from the Alliance, aren't you? Maybe this is the one you're looking for. Please persuade him. I know he believes and will believe you. Yeah, look, I will kill him. There's no worries, bro. Go, man, everyone needs help, even you. And that, that's life advice. Right there. You think you could defeat Xing Tian with the help of what? Cultivator Alliance. I come here from Bai Yuan. Hardships along the way have all been conquered by me, and I believe I could once more challenge the impossible. I will slay him. Where there is a will, there is a way. Gomeng, please trust this one before you. This master can help you and also help us. Master, please carry your plan out and see it done. Hey, hang on. Hang on a minute. Um, When did my name turn into master, sir? Master, I hope I will one day awaken to find the once wretched Chiyo transformed into a land of peace and prosperity. We hope you will achieve what you've been working for. 
Ooh. With that said, Goldmine transforms into a giant tree, and Bi Hong follows suit with a smile. Branches sprout from their roots and intertwine with each other. The two trees lean on each other and gives off gusts of chi, sending comfort up your veins. Ah, that's sad. Like, I don't know if they're dead. Like, I I'm probably never going to see them again, though. But I suppose that's the best ending, isn't it? Can I visit them? Alright, well, that's sad. We're finally venturing in to the lost lands. The very last part of this game. The, the end game, you know? Oh my god, whoa! <laughs> oh, he big. He's big, mate. Okay. This is going to be... I feel like I'm going to die multiple times doing this, so I think it may be its own episode. What a cliffhanger to be left on. Look at this motherfucker. Look at that face. It's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> that was mean. I didn't mean it. He's probably going to hurt me for that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be way too long, because I, I just have a feeling I'm going to die in this a few times. And this episode's going to be insanely long, like, as it is. Or at least I think it is. It's been like two hours, two and a half hours of recording, so... <laughs> Oops. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. And of course, more tips and tricks for Shing Chan is always welcome. I do read through them, as everybody knows. I answer everybody. Or as many as I'm, you know, made aware of by YouTube. As always, have a great day.